I put too much all I the car smoke everywhere dollar Ravenovo. If you want to donate me a car, please contact me because I can't afford a new one. Because people are running under oil. I want to make sure that don't happen again because I don't want to make a bill. Because I got bills to be paid and I can't keep paying for the car. So I put oil in the car. And I didn't know that you could flood the oil or you're not supposed to fill it up with oil. So now I learned you're not supposed to fill it up with oil. Usually I thought that when it's empty, you just fill it up, but obviously not. So my car started smoking. Smoke everywhere. So I'm just praying to God, saying, please just let me get this car to my mechanic. Now I'm just laying here like I'm just straight. I need a new car. I need a new car. But you both know, well, you don't know. I can't afford a car. And I'm mentally exhausted. I just can't catch a break. I just really can't. <sighs> Even though I made friends with people, I still can't call nobody to ask them to pick me up because they're not going to. But I picked people up and took them to work, of course. But we already know that's not how it goes with me anyway. I help out people when my turn comes, all of a sudden the phone call never comes through. Or they never heard the phone ringing. Or they act like they don't remember me calling. And it's like... <sighs> so the whole car started smoking. In the front, in the back. And I'm watching it, and I'm saying to myself, God, please let me get this car to the mechanic. It is like literally a ball of fire, it looked like. And I was like, please, I went past the police. I was like, oh my God, the police is going to pull me over because this car is really smoking bad. But um, they didn't. They was busy. I think it was a fire in the road, and they just let me. It's weird because you think of me being in a car that's basically going past the cops on fire, they would pull me over, make me stop the car, but they just let me go. I'm grateful for that. But um, I got the car home. And um, I'm just laying here. I am mentally exhausted. I just want to get in a car where I can trust it. You don't have to worry about it, but that's not my story. I don't know anymore. I just don't know anymore. <sighs> you try to remain positive, but it's really hard to be positive when darkness seems to be so relevant. I try to make sure I do nothing that's going to make the car or get myself in a situation. And here we go. Situation. Once again. So. I had to get money up again. To get the car fixed. So it's just like, God, uh, please, just make it stop. But 
I'm grateful. I got the car home. Boom. Pay shop. Of course, they're probably going to charge the hell out of me as usual. I just don't know what to do anymore. I just don't. I don't. I figured I'd do good right by people, be nice to people. Good luck will come, but. Nope. <gasps> okay. So if you go to video with me in a car, you see the car is literally smoking. I guess only car people understand what I'm going through. Anyway, have a blessed day.